Hello, we're here to do uh, some more news bagging. I shouldn't have said that, should I? Oh, that sounds weird. <laughs> I'm, here, so I'm here with Jamie and Hannah. How are you guys? Good. Yeah, good, yeah. thanks. It was good. <laughs> until the until the yeah. bagging thing happened. Mm-hmm. It's happened again now. Swiftly move on. Welcome to Newsbag, where one day we hope to find and bring you some news. What have you guys been up to this week? I walked past some news. I think it was this week. Yeah? It was this week, yeah. Um, just out, when I went out to work the other morning, like, there was loads of police cars and... Oh, really? Police and very... Like, I could have walked past it to get to the car and, like, see what's going on to bring it to the new... I was a bit scared. You know, you don't you don't want to... You don't want to go and get involved. I didn't want to get involved. And also, I thought if we'll go over and it's something quite scary, then also... It just looks a bit bad, doesn't it, when you just stare at, at news? Yeah, just like, oh, what's the news over there? It made me realise we're not really reporters, are we? We're not... <laughs> We didn't actually go and investigate. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. I didn't feel I had like the right to go over and just find out. So yeah, I could have walked past some really exciting news, but I, I just a... walked the other way. <laughs> there was a story there. Okay, well, as we work up towards actually becoming actively involved in crime, for now we'll just do the... When you say actively involved in crime. <laughs> Not, uh, I don't want to be in, a criminal. Investigating it. Imagine if we live podcast as news is happening. <laughs> oh, it could take a turn. Could it? We'll just work for like amazing. the EDP or Chucking something. the microphone to each other. <laughs> what do you think, Chris? <laughs> I've got a new tier. This is the best news I've seen all day. Or was it a car crash or anything? Or just... Um, I don't know. We pulled one car over. It looked like there was a bit of commotion. It was like okay. the Tesco Express. I don't know if it was something to do with that. <laughs> make our own news up if you want about it. But you can't really like enter a crime scene, can you? No, not really. Not really allowed. My dad did that a couple of weeks ago. Did he? Because he couldn't see how to get home. So he ducked under a police banner, instantly <laughs> panicked, and the policeman came and told him off. He was like, why do you think it's okay to walk into a crime scene? And my dad was like, it's obviously not. Like, I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> I'm good. I'm, t- I'm, I'm, I'm glad the police came and tore him off. What's he doing just walking through there? Is it actually illegal, though, to... I think that's... I mean, there's tape. Why, why would you? Like, you know? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, he knew instantly. He, like, apologised and just ducked back under it. <laughs> just like, oh, sorry, you've had no crime scene. I'm going to have to arrest you now. I was wondering if he knew that that wasn't a law that he was breaking. So he was like, oh, no, I'm not yeah. breaking the law. Give it a go. One of those moments where you feel brave. <laughs> yeah. there's, there's nothing you can do. I'm going to walk through his crime scene and you can't stop me. And Because I've read the rules... <laughs> But he could stop it and we really told him <laughs> off. He said it was highly embarrassing. He just walked down with his head, to, you know, low. Can you imagine your dad confidently strolling through a crime scene? <laughs> just uh, be, going to the cops like, yeah, all right. <laughs> Nothing you can do about it, is there? Oh, no, no, then just not... marching him off. <laughs> so yeah, I just walked past some news. <laughs> walked past some news. Did anybody see anything that was news? Uh, in a way. Intriguing. Um, I saw somebody that we've previously reported I'm going to say <laughs> oh can we guess <laughs> go on. the Star Wars pr- puppeteer we wonder well, what he looked like his name you? is <laughs> Martin Hamill wasn't no. wasn't Graham Plant it, no who was it Superman's been on hasn't he it was Superman was it I saw him hold on who so, 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 so dressed as Superman wasn't it yeah someone dressed as Superman it's one of the headlines where they um, basically calmed down a criminal of some sort. So <laughs> they helped the police. I remember it well, yeah. <laughs> what, yeah. you actually saw that person? Yeah, so I thought, because I didn't read the whole article, that he was just on a stag do or something. <laughs> but he actually stands outside the Castle Mall. Um, I think he sort of tries to get money for charity. Um, and he was there, and I saw him. Excellent. I was a bit starstruck. I um, thought <laughs> you were. Did you go and tell him? Like, no, you, you've been on headlines. I was too nervous. See, Hannah, Jamie walked past the news, and he went and... Said hi. Did you say hi? No, no, no. So right. we basically, we've both walked past news. Brilliant. Yeah. So <laughs> thanks to two of you for walking past some news. Which, thinking about it, if I had gone and spoken to him and told him that we'd put it on our podcast, he might have then listened to it. That's so right. I've refused us a viewer in a way, or a listener. <laughs> we could have yeah. upped our listeners we, we to, to nine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I asked Claire to listen to this earlier, and she was annoyed. Why? She had to listen to it. She had to listen to it. <laughs> She's like, I've got enough on. Yeah. If anyone else listens is annoyed, just don't have to. <laughs> She's like, yeah, all right. Sat down. Go on then. I mean, if it wasn't for my family, because I can provide, assume you're my family, listen. And if you're not, I hope you feel guilty about that. And if you are, well done. I'm glad to be in your family. Even if you're forcing yourself to listen. Even if you're forcing yourself, you know, we appreciate it. Because I've got, what, four sisters, two parents. Um, well, that's it, but... <laughs> It's a fair amount, it's isn't fair, it? It is a fair amount. I might put it in my speech at my wedding in a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah, oh. Jamie is getting married. Two weeks, just under two weeks. Yeah. Although probably when this goes out, Jamie will already be married. 
Yeah. Yeah. How was it? How was the wedding? It was, yeah, it was awesome. I can't, just can't believe it. <laughs> can, you rem- can you remember any of it? I can't believe you fell over. Can you remember <laughs> into the cake? It's just like him, isn't it? That was yeah. embarrassing. Why was I carrying a whole bag, whole bottle of whiskey <laughs> as well? Yeah. News bag. Oh, so we've all walked past news. Should, do you think we should move on to some actual news then? That we, we haven't seen either, but we've read about. That's the best kind of news, the ones you read about and don't have to actually get involved in. Mm. Bystander. He wants yeah. to kick us off. He's got the news bag open. Jimmy, you got your news bag there. I have. <clears throat> oh, he's, got, he's clearing his throat. Cut <laughs> that <bit> out. <laughs> Yeah, Jamie, off guard. Jamie does that ten times per episode. Um, right, so I'm going to start with the headline. Thief who stole van tried to run away from police before getting arrested. <laughs> if you try and run away after getting arrested, that's less effective. Mm. Why don't you drive off in the van? Was he doing the walk of shame, like the run of shame, like we heard about the litter guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it. It wasn't that van that had six wheels nicked. Because no. that is not going to drive off, is it? <laughs> You're going to have to run away. It was not that. Now, you might be thinking... Mm, I am. It's a catchy headline. I was. <laughs> you might be thinking there's probably more to this story. I'm glad you said that, because I'm going to be honest, when you first read the headline, I was a bit underwhelmed. Yeah, mm. yeah. There isn't anything more to this story. Um, right. Th- this has made news. <laughs> read us the story. A person who was arrested on suspicion of stealing a van tried to run away from police before being arrested... <laughs> Please tell me that's where it ends. No, there, there is more. Ha- Hannah, you got any news? Or <laughs> before we, oh, I suppose we'll get to the bottom of this one first. Yeah. So, officers from Norfolk and Suffolk Roads and armed policing team saw a van going through a red light on Monday night before calling on help of Great Yarmouth Police to track down the driver. See, I reckon that's just like that happens probably every day. Oh, Don't you think that happens yeah. every day? Yeah, probably several I'd... times just in Norwich, I reckon. That's just routine. That's me. Like, <clears throat> if I just did my job at work one day, and that making the news. <laughs> like the police were called to a crime, and they went. Yeah, yeah. This is essentially man didn't put rubbish in bin. <laughs> yeah. So did walk a shame. It's on the same level, isn't it? Yeah. Patient missed. Does GP it say anything about what he'd done or like what? So the individual was arrested on suspicion oh, of stealing a motor vehicle following a foot chase. <laughs> He got out of the... Uh, didn't want to see that show. Was it Police Camera Action? I love yeah. the police show. Oh, it's so good, isn't it? It's always road chases. And they'd always get out at the end and then get tracked on infrared. But they never go. And something you've never seen before. A man that stole a van. <laughs> Put that in the news. <laughs> exactly. They never do that. So there's a tweet. Yeah? Yeah, from the Roads and Armed Policing Team, who said, After seeing a van going through a red light, RCRT didn't appreciate the driving that the drivers are running off from them. No, I wouldn't appreciate that. They probably didn't, but they probably don't every time it happens. It makes their job. It makes the cops job. Is it like like a story? story, Are they like? Have they got any details? And it's just a plea to the public to help. Was it literally? Yeah. Is it like a what wanted? No, no. no, There's there's very little more (laughs) to add to this. One question I have got for you is: Do you know what the RCRT is? (laughs) I was just wondering. Mm RCRT. Is it the road criminals? Relationships Road. and trials. Uh, I don't know. Okay, right. I don't know because they haven't explained what it is. Fortunately for That's them. That's bad. You know, every time you use an acronym, you should like spell it out. You should say, it, especially if it's more than three letters. This is a very yeah. inclusive news story. No. It gets worse. Where's this from? Great Yarmouth. Yeah, Great so, Yarmouth. So this okay. is from the Great Yarmouth Mercury. Yeah, the GYM. Classic. Yeah. The G-Y-M. Fortunately for them, 1826 of East Team was nearby. <laughs> Do they not have names anymore? <laughs> no. PC 1826. They don't even personalise the story. <laughs> I know. We don't know who the police officer is. We don't know who the victim was. I don't even know what type of van it was. No. Um, yeah, he, he, they, she. <laughs> exactly, that we don't know. Might be more than one. nearby. Um, Where's that? After a foot chase, caught the driver. One arrested for theft of MV. <laughs> What's MV? Multi vehicle? Massive van. <laughs> Move van? <laughs> Move that van? Um, Motor vehicle, I mean, I'm assuming. So, so actually, I think I've actually got it there. I've made some notes about this. Okay, it's good. I'm glad there's wow. more than just what it was. Yeah, so this is the reason why I picked it because I feel like this isn't really news. <laughs> no. I. I'll be honest, I think out of all the stories we've done so far, it's definitely the most boring. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. I, this, this is something that I imagine happens yeah. three or four times a day. And there's, and there's no, like, unique selling point about it. There's like, nothing about this. No. The, you know, the man 
ran away and he was dressed as a caterpillar or like something <laughs> that I'd, there's nothing Just a, exciting about it from a journalist point of view I think this is lazy work yep here's why I think this is lazy Tell work not just because this is a a fairly mediocre story they've so just found out kind. about this they've on what? Twitter say again they've only found about out about this news <laughs> news because uh, it's on Twitter <laughs> well, what was, so what was the tweet they saw from the police yeah from the police after seeing a van going through a red light RCRT didn't appreciate the driver running off from them if that's what journalism is I think we could do it after all so I just think I mean, they've just had a slow news day they haven't yeah. added much to the tweet either no They've actually not reported. They've got no original research here. At what no. point does it is it no longer journalism? Is there a photo with it? I'm glad you asked that as well. <laughs> it's like we planned it. We didn't. We didn't actually. No, we actually didn't. But there's just a stock photo of a. a <laughs> Clearly, we're a stock photo. And you've also written just a stock photo. Yeah, just a stock photo. Yeah, it's just like zoomed in on a badge saying police. And then yeah. a walkie-talkie in the shop. Even that doesn't have his face in it. I've learned. Not, I've got no details well, it's out of this. It's probably not. That's just any yeah, that's not gonna person, be. isn't it? Um, the, the one thing they haven't actually added in the story, which is in the tweet, are some hashtags. <laughs> hashtag drink driving. Hashtag drug driving. Hashtag fatal four. Oh, ha- fatal four. The, the fatal four. Don't know. But I'd be asking the police about those hashtags. Yeah. Were they drinking? Were they on drugs? Yeah, were they four also, years old? This is not a saying that that's not important. Because actually, that you know, really awful things to be doing. The, yeah. the story hasn't told us any of that. And it's not even like that we've been asked to try and assist in finding this person that mm. might have drunk, driven, might yeah. have drugged it. We haven't... No, they've got nothing. In fact, by leaving out those hashtags, the news story has less news in it than the tweet does. Yeah. <laughs> but they've made it into a story. Yeah. I reckon this journalist has fallen asleep at their desk, realised it's five to five and gone, oh crap. Oh crap, quick, get on Twitter. I told you about five one. stories. <laughs> That's really bad. Sorry, Jamie. I you know, I'm not... No, no, no. It's really boring. Oh, sorry, so listeners. The reason why I picked this story is because if you're a journalist, you could probably succeed yeah. in Norwich if you came here because this is the, the calibre of stories we're getting so far. Bag. To kind of lift the mood from that, I think this story... Please stop, because I need a snack. Oh, <laughs> do you know what? This shows how exciting this story is, because when do I ever you, forget about snack bag? Hannah's just forgot about the snack bag. I That's... never forget about snack bag. So I've got my snack bag with... Snack bag? <laughs> <laughs> You've got your snack bag. <laughs> Alright, so I've got my uh, snack bag with me. Yes. Uh, you'll be pleased to know it's been refilled since the last episode. That's looking uh, pretty just weighty. Trying to remember, I think Chris chose that. I time. think you should pick. Should I? Oh, my yeah. own snack. Oh, right. okay. yeah. Okay, so I'm just. Well, no, you can't hold it. I'm going to have okay. to take that off you and rattle it around because you know the location of all the. Okay, that's true. Oh, that's memorized. That's quite weighty. Hannah's like gone to town on this. I okay. have a... No, I didn't take this seriously. Did you go to town? Mm-hmm. I went to yeah. town. <laughs> <laughs> gone to town with this. I shut. You know the drill by now. I shut, in you yeah. go. Oh, I shouldn't look. No. She's, oh, ha- she's oh, having a good oh. feel around. I just went for whatever I touched. I didn't know what they were. What have you got? Oh, I'm happy with that. Oh my gosh. I didn't really When's think. When's the last time you had a Dare Really Triangle? I love Dare Really Triangles. <laughs> Probably about 10 years ago for me. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, mine might be the same. Let me put that down. That's... How also oh, I thought they're just really soft. I've never actually spread a Dare Really Triangle on anything. No, I eat it on its own every yeah. time. Always eat it on its own. Nobody else. Do you, want, do, you want a, do you want one now? Or? It's like the, officially you're meant to spread this. It's a bit like Bovril is supposed to be a drink, but no one ever has it like that, aren't they? Do you ever get annoyed when the red thing doesn't perfectly... Really annoyed. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, off, yeah. Right, I'm going to open these up. You can shorten this, can't you? Is it? <laughs> I like that it's got 16 as well. <laughs> we don't Bam. need that many, do we? They were on offer. Can I just say, probably anything that comes out of the snack bag has probably been on offer. Not- <laughs> I hope so. You don't need to ruin that for us. Ruined it. That's probably this looks like you spent at least a tenner. Enjoy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, so I love this story. I, I think this story was made for me. I don't really mind if no one else likes it. Mm. So creamy that is. Are you just sorry. Yeah. No, yeah, it's made no, for it's you. Re- <laughs> story's made for you. Crabtastic opening <laughs> planned for new seaside charity shop. Oh, Chroma Piers, Claude the Crab, will cut the ribbon at the new Each Charity Shop in the town's Tucker Street. The VIP yeah. guest set to officially open a new charity shop won't need a pair of scissors to cut the ribbon because he's a crab. <laughs> How good is this? Before I go on, I thought I'd show you a picture of Claude. I'll put one on Twitter as well, so it's everyone a picture can see. Just Claude the Crab. Technology's letting me down here, to be honest. It would have worked better, Chris the Crab, oh, yeah. not Claude the Crab. 
<laughs> yeah, okay, he's massive. How good is he? So he's basically just a big red crab and he's going to open the charity shop by just using his pincers to... to <laughs> ma- and then I actually searched him on Twitter and there's quite a few hashtags for Claude the Crab. So apparently he's like Chroma Pierce um, mascot. Oh, yeah. And he just meets different people around the town, gets out and about. So the crab looks really happy. I'm happy that I've seen him. I think it's a little bit irresponsible if those claws are actually sharp mm. when it's meant for kids. Yeah. Yeah, because I guess if he goes to shake the hand, that's going to not end well. I probably wouldn't mind if he cut me, because look at his little face. When I first read this story, and it said VIP guest, I I kind of had a snigger. But then I thought, think about the people that we've been finding that have been visiting and that have made the news. He probably is a VIP guest, isn't he? At least he's got, like, associations with Chroma. Like, he's been the peer's mascot. So he's probably actually better than some of the people we've... Yeah, true. We've We've got a crab. We've previously had a Pikachu... In a suit. We've had Ryan Reynolds in the Pikachu suit. Come to Norwich. That wasn't the story. <laughs> I don't remember the own, our own stories. We've had Superman. And we had um, the lookalike. That yes. Was, was also went to Chroma. Win- Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill lookalike. Chroma is full of celebrities, isn't it? Well, I think well, all the crabs up there were probably one of the most famous. That's a bit different because this isn't a crab lookalike. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, this is the celebrity. <laughs> yeah. No, it's actually Claude. Yeah. Oh, is that someone pretending to be Claude the Crab? It is Claude the Crab. This is actually Claude the Crab. So yeah, what I liked about it is that when I did a bit more Googling, um, they'd really made an announcement of this, so it had gone out. Um, mm-hmm. And the kind of peer box office, apparently peer box office and retail manager, Deb, Debs, yep. were absolutely delighted Claude was invited to the shop. How did they invite him? Did they send him a letter? <laughs> right, Claude. Address, seashell 42, message in a bottle. <sighs> Oh, Jamie. He's got it. It's so, amazing. See you later. Go home. He's <laughs> done enough. Please don't go home. We're not finished. He's <laughs> done your story. There's more dairy. There's a lot more dairy. I've, I've done my story and I've done a joke. I'm still later. <laughs> yeah, um, more dairy from us. That's true. So, uh, I mean, the reason I love this so much, obviously, if anyone knows me, which they probably do, because mainly my family listen to this, I love a charity shop. Mm-hmm. And I don't love crabs, but the fact it's got a big face on it has made me... Yeah. Love it. And it um, loves anything with a face on it. So Enormous. much so that you'll let them stab you. Yeah, but look at its face. Mm, yeah. Do you think people like do you think people will be impressed that it's Claude the Crab opening it? So it sounds like Claude is quite well known in the chroma in the chromosphere. He's a bit of a celebrity, isn't he? Yeah. This is the first I've heard of him. I've I don't live in Chroma. But is there I've... any other Norfolk mascots? <laughs> you know it's the like no- the football one. The Norwich City football. Yeah, is it a canary? canary. It's technically Woody the Bear. Ooh. From Pleasant Hills. <gasps> oh. Do you know what? what? I guess what I saw on Twitter when I was researching Claude the Crab. Go on. Claude the Crab met Woody and they did a dance. Hang on. That, that's yeah, the... no, they met and um, Woody did like, what's the dance all the, the kids do? I thought like <laughs> the, the flossing. Yeah. Flossing. Were they doing that? And Incredible. So He's got to be really careful with claws like that. Yeah. Woody did the floss and like the whole bit on Twitter was like, come on, Claude, you need to show. And the Claude didn't do the crab. Not the crab. <laughs> Why he should have done the crab. That's if I get flossing. <laughs> get down and do the crab, you... Yeah, so... Oh, amazing. There you go. If um, anybody wants to, again, probably <laughs> already happened, um, Claude will be there for the opening of the charity shop on the 30th of May. Um, head on down. Hopefully you don't get your hands caught. Excellent. News bag. Well, Hannah tucks into a Daryl Lee. Mm-hmm. Get my own story out. There we go. Right, so what I've got here is um, throwing hay bales and milking a cow. Teen prepares for farming Olympics. Yes. Come on. <laughs> so this is, in, this is in the Beckles and Bungie Journal, right? And this is only a few days ago. A student will travel to Poland to showcase his skills in the farming Olympics. Is this like a nash... What's the word for national? International? Yeah, so it's like an international <laughs> event. What's that word that means more than national? Uh, it is. Let me... So, well, yeah, so Isaac Lark, 18, from Lowestoft, will join three apprentices from colleges in Cambridgeshire, Norfolk and Lakenheath to make up the UK team. We've got a farming team. So you, you know, this, this has blown my mind. Oh, it gets better, mate. You know, like, there's Team GB. Yeah. Like for, it's like that. They're, so these four... Is it on telly? Um, I don't think it's televised because people would have heard of it then. But it is in Poland. What, what is this, like, a big thing? Like... Winter Olympics, Summer Olympics. (laughs) Farming Olympics. Farming Olympics. (laughs) The squad will take part in 20 challenges, which range from milking a cow, balancing big bales, reversing a trailer, and making butter. That's to make butter? Yeah. As a gold medal. (laughs) (laughs) Butter the fastest. Gold top medal. Mr. Lark, who works at Somaliton Farms. Definitely said that wrong, haven't I? 
um, said, it will put a spring in my step being part of this team. It's a one-off opportunity and I feel lucky to be involved. So I'll look this up. This is an annual event. It's not a one-off opportunity. Has he just not been in it before? <laughs> I think he hasn't been invited. He is only 18 though. Probably couldn't. It's probably 18s only. Probably right? couldn't. I wonder if he's been waiting all his life. He may, maybe. And presumably now that he's turned 18, he's going to do lots. It's annual. So Isaac, don't Maybe worry. At least four. By, by far, is it a one-off opportunity? I think we'll be seeing you again in the in the Bungie Journal. In a new charity shop <laughs> next to Claude the Crab. They played the national anthem before the start of the competition. It's not the FA Cup final. Wow. So that will definitely help inspire me to do my best. Team leader Charlie Askew, farm lecturer at Eastern and Oakley College, said, this will be the fourth year in a row that we have taken part in this competition. Last year, we received a fair play award for being the most honourable contestants. <laughs> what did they do that was so honourable? <laughs> well, how do you do... There's a lot of integrity thrown their hate <laughs> But how do you do the Farming Olympics dishonourably? Also, shouldn't it be, rather than them getting fair play, the other people get disqualified <laughs> if they're not playing fair? <laughs> I think that's a really good point. Yeah, that's true. It shouldn't just be like, you didn't cheat or whatever. Like, yeah. Or you've not doped. Oh, yeah, yeah. you get the fair play award. Fair play, fair play most people in the Farming Olympics. You <laughs> lost it all. But fair play. <laughs> fair play, mate. Yeah, does it say if we won anything? <laughs> That's like when you get the most improved award at school yeah. or something. They've got A for effort. <laughs> They've got the pity award, haven't they? Um, hopefully we can do one better this time this time out and get on the podium with a gold medal in our pockets. That's not one up from the fair play award. That's one up from the silver medal. Aim for bronze that, and then go one up from there, you know? Go for gold. Do you yeah, go for bronze, do you? No, yeah. no, no. You probably don't go into the Olympics like... Probably going to go for bronze. Because then you'll probably end up like sixth or seventh. Go for gold and be happy with a bronze. Mm. Oh, that's true. Yeah. What's that phrase? Go phrase for gold. Aim high. <laughs> oh, it is. It's something about a gutter, though. Aim for the. Uh, presumably, you don't aim for the gutter. It's like reach from the gutter. Re- what is it? Is it reach for the stars? And you might end up in the gutter or something? Because gutters are high up. <laughs> Never seen Jamie look so ashamed to be our friend. <laughs> Jamie's just looking at pity. He doesn't know it either. He doesn't know. No, he doesn't know it. Do it he doesn't need. Baffled me. He doesn't care. He doesn't need Why to know would it. he? The only one I know is like a rat up a drain pipe. That might be in the Farmer Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, so I do have a list. Oh, I can't wait to hear. What I have the about. list of the included events in all the. All of them. All of them. Yes. Do you want another dare we leave? In the Agri Olympics, they're called. Um... So I just have to fit right before that. I just have to finish his quote. He said, "Hopefully, we won better and get the gold medal in our pockets." I'm very proud of all our apprentices who make up Team GB. Who is that? You call Team GB? They are the cream of the crop. Oh, oh. of course they are. So what I'm going to do now? Okay, I've got the list here. If there's any, I'm just going to read them out just so we kind of see what kind of things involved. But if you, if there's any that grab your, you know, pique your interest, let me know and I'll look up the actual details of the event because I've got, okay. I've got the website. How do we let you know? Can we move? You can use your lips and just mouth. Let you know. I'm gonna move. Okay, you could do the. Okay, where you go that one? I'll just tell you. So here are what's called the tasks and responsibilities. But before we start, yeah, I think we're gonna be interested by all of them. So <laughs> okay. you just like keep saying. <laughs> if you're gonna keep, it's gonna turn into a farmyard. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Reversing a trailer, log splitting, tractor driving, guessing weights. Balan- yeah, hold, yeah, what? Go- what is it guessing weights of? <laughs> do you want to look at, do you want to go into that one? Is yeah. it like take it or leave it? Okay. What well, can I carry on with the Sorry, yeah. Yeah. No, well, okay. I've got guessing weights in my head. I don't know mm-hmm. what they're guessing the weights of. Let's look at chickens, I reckon. Guessing weights, yeah. Yeah, is it like farm yard <laughs> objects animals? I've got it here, as you can see. The Agri Olympics. Okay, so you want to know more about guessing weights. I cannot believe how official this is. There's there's a, P- a whole PDF yeah, there with the that, rules. I mean, none of us have heard of this, right? How no. have none of us heard of the Farm Olympics? <laughs> it blew my mind when I thought it was just something that happened somewhere in Norfolk. Like, you know how a lot of small towns have like their own Like the cheese weird races. Or something. Yeah, that sort of thing. Mm. Yeah. But no, this the is... The fact there's actually international and you've got a fairly official looking document as well. <laughs> it's an official document. And not only is it, um, not only is it international, but it's it runs over three days. From the 1st to the 3rd of June. So these kids have to like go away for a bit from home to take part. And- yeah. This guy, he's only 18. This might be the first time he's ever left. Is he paying for it himself? Not sure how the entry fees and remuneration works. Mm. The thing is, right, we're, I'm not taking the piss because actually he's done more than I have in my life. I've mm. never represented... Yeah, what have we done? I'm now wondering, do like farms use these as awards that they've won? What, so they can kind of hand we out... Won. Oh, oh like B and B's get stars or something, like a four gold medal in. <laughs> so by that, milk but just because you're good at like 
throwing hay doesn't mean you're good at running a farm. Nope. Well, running's not running's in the Olympics, isn't it? It's not in the farm Olympics. Just because you get an Oscar doesn't mean you're a good actor. <sighs> oh. So it doesn't, does it? You still put it on your CV, though, don't you? I would. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> guessing weights. Yeah, tell me more. Instructions. The team has to guess the weight of eight different animals. The variance of the results in relation to the effective weight is taken into account to give the points and establish a classification. So they like line the animals <clears> up and they're like, how much do you think this horse is? How much do you think this chicken is? Yeah, so they've got eight they've got eight pictures actually in this document of just presumably not the ones in the actual event because then you'd weigh them up now. But so they've just got a photo of a but sheep. I think it's a, like the exact a animal. chicken. Well it might be. So they just have to show them a cow and go, How much does that yeah. weigh? Also, and you say, what's a cow weigh? By sight, you'd have to guess. A ton? Yeah. We both, oh, it must ooh, be. We both said that, so. So is it like whoever's closest wins, or if no one gets it exactly right, no one gets a medal? So the points will be awarded based on how close you are to the real the I'd real love weight. to watch this. This would be a great day. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Because it's not what, really... What if I say a ton and everybody else says 4,000 tons <laughs> and it's actually 300 tons? <laughs> I've not done a good guess there. I'm just the closest. Yeah, I wonder how specific. Yeah, if someone tells me to like the point, whatever. I'd be quite impressed. Just like yeah, yeah. iron it up. Do yeah. one of those things where you make a little square out your finger. This is like one point one tons. Yeah. Make a square. Oh, to weigh to get the size. I mean, how you do it, is it? Surely just Google the average. Yeah, what's, weight and just say that. What does a cow weigh? I don't know. Is this... Siri? How much does a cow weigh? He's thinking. The typical weight of a cow is 0.16 to 1.5 short tons. <laughs> short tons? I can't believe it knew. What's a short ton? You Imagine look- Chris is rocking up and they go, right, <laughs> guess that cow. <laughs> Siri? <laughs> I'll be honest, I think you take all the fun out of the farm Olympics. <laughs> it's like when you do a pop quiz and gets the phone out. I hate them people. I know, bastards. No, so, take that fun out. <laughs> I don't want Siri from Olympics, do you? I've just learnt the scientific name of a cow was the Boss Taurus. Wow. Do you know what? I think this is actually a really... Some of our stories probably won't pull people to Norfolk. I think this will, because I'd go out for a day to watch this. Go on, I'll let you read me. I mean, if you get, stop me if you get bored. Balancing big bales. Stop. Okay. Bored. Fencing. <laughs> fencing. And that is not like fencing with a blade, with Making a sword. Fences. Just to make fences. Electric fences, that one. Ah, that's dangerous. Orange processing, yes. changing wheels, throwing hay bales, stacking small bales, <laughs> changing blades on a rear-mounted mower. That is specific. <laughs> changing a rotary arrow roll scraper. I thought that was specific. <laughs> <laughs> you got any stuff, haven't you, for the Farm Olympics? <laughs> Assembling a pipeline, hand milking, guessing the seeds. Guessing the seeds. <laughs> Guess this seed. <laughs> And the final three. I've take- changed my mind. I don't want to go. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it looks like a- from a distance as well. If we just guess the seed, you can't even see it. <laughs> Sunflower seed, correct. <laughs> Pine nut, yes. <laughs> the f- and the final three take place all in one circuit. I've learned seed spreading, aquaponic system assembling, and finally the big finale of it all is corking bottles. So do you think you could bring us like an update next time of who, how they did, how Team GB did in the yeah. Team GB yeah, from Don't I'll get on Norfolk, top of this. which is quite exciting. Yeah, you yeah, let us yeah. Know? yeah, I'll get on top of this. Update when is next it? week. When is it? The 1st or the 3rd of June, okay? 2019. So that will be like, what, our 7th or 8th podcast? Yeah, we'll have a... We're quite established by then. Yeah. Reckon you can get one of them <laughs> on the podcast for an interview. <laughs> If he can't, I don't know if he deserves to be on the podcast. So it was, you know, no. easy task. If anyone can do it, guys, it's me. If a journalist can get a news story <laughs> on their website about a van being... And if a charity shop can get Claude the Crab... <laughs> then I'm sure I can get Isaac Lark. Listen, listen in for that. Good luck, Isaac and Charlie and the rest of the team. I'm sure you'll do us proud. Maybe don't let him listen to this episode because <laughs> we've sort of taken the piss out of it. We have, but I'm still impressed. Oh, I'm still impressed, yeah. I'm impressed. I'm just... Tell you what, I'm not sure about conscious some of, of those. the tone. Yeah. But I'm sure you'll do us proud. You are, after all, the cream of the crop. Hard to choose it. I've got to say it because that's a good way to end the. Oh. So, headlines. We, Ooh, um, but- who's, who's headlining today? That will be me. Are you, Jamie? You're headlining us today? I am. It's going to warm up. Headlining today, Jamie. Jamie Riseborough. I'm stretching. So, headline one. I'm thinking of voting for what? Norfolk MPs react to Theresa May's resignation. 
Close I think I'm voting for. I think I'm voting for the Winston Churchill fella came down because he's still running, isn't he? What was his name? <laughs> it's not, is it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Do you want to know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking of voting for my cat. <laughs> so that's a Norfolk MP saying that. <laughs> to be fair, we do know that they love discussing animals in their full council meetings. Yeah, that's fantastic. Is that like a protest vote? That's he's getting. Is that satire? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe chuckle. I'm voting for him now. You might say it's cat hire. <laughs> oh no, I would never say that. Uh, so next, no, one. you don't get to carry on after that. Next one. <laughs> yep. Sinkhole will shut High Street for seven days. Some businesses must what? Blimey, levitate. Close. No. Um, sink. <laughs> no, they might do. Go under. They must should... use back doors. <laughs> Like came out. Yeah. <laughs> that would be quite weird though because if you were down a high street, you'd never see them. How would you get to the back door of a shop? Oh god, that's fantastic. Amazing. So last one, uh, car what in Galston? Blew up. Not far off. The car remained on the driveway. Not far Not off. On the Great Yarmouth Mercury, is it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> car drove. <laughs> Car damage <laughs> in Galston. It's <laughs> um, a run away from the police. The Mercury is really uh, so. A car was itself. damaged in Galston, leading police to seek information about the incident. <laughs> Would you like to see the photo? Oh, I'd love to. It's the same one from my news story. <laughs> it's the same stock Stop image of the fake police with a will be talking. Stock photo of a damaged car. So my dad have given no detail. I mean, they uh, could literally just take a photo of the street where it happened to anything. Do you think the journalist is like literally only assessed on the volume of stories he puts out? How many done this week, Toby? So they were four. <laughs> Same photo used. <laughs> How many of them off Twitter? <laughs> Twenty-four. <laughs> I've really enjoyed that bag. Thanks, Jamie. Thanks, You're Jamie, welcome. and thanks everyone for your stories. Mm-hmm. I've really enjoyed today's episode of Newsbag. If you've enjoyed today's episode of Newsbag. Why don't you get in touch on uh, one of our social media outlets, which are? Uh, yeah, so I'm learning Twitter now, I'm learning the lingo. So it's at Newsbag Podcast, and you can search that on either Twitter or on Instagram. Um, and yeah, check on down. Some che- good pictures and stuff. Check on down, guys. <laughs> yeah, that check. is the lingo. Cool. Don't at us. Check on down. <laughs> Forget hashtag. Check on down tag. <laughs> oh, guys. Hashbag. That is something illegal. Hashbag. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's not you. Let's wrap up before we get in <laughs> that's trouble. Not you, we, can't, we can't just keep putting hashbag on all of us. Right. Thank Bye. you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.